Hi, my name is Moella. In this tutorial, I want to speak about searching in a SQLite database. Please watch my previous tutorials about SQLite database and basic for Android. This will be the final result of this session. So if I type something here, for example, A, I can limit the items to those items which contain A in their names. Let me type something else, for example, Z or X. Okay, let's make something like this. This is my project for previous tutorial. And now I want to prepare my layout to have this edit text and this button. So I need to go to main layout, which is here. So I hold control and I click on that and I can add one edit text here. And one button here. So far, it's not a responsive layout because when I change the layout, they are not on proper position. So let's go back and change the anchor. This one needs right anchor and this one both sides. And maybe this one a little taller. Let's try that again. Very good. Now I can have a responsive layout. Let's go back to phone, this one. Okay, now I need, in my activity, I need the definition of this edit text because I need to have access to the text which is typed in this edit text and I need to have the click event of this button. So to have the definition of this one, I right click on that and I can choose between these two ones. I prefer the second one because that is cross-platform definition then I can have the same code in basic for Java, basic for iPhone. And click event for this one. Very good. Now this is click event and this is the definition. Here I need a new result set. Before in previous session, we created this query for this result set. Now we need a new one because in previous one, we set all the data, select star from table one, select all the data from this table. Now we need to limit the data, those names, for example, which contain A in their names. So to try a new query, I go back to my database, in previous session, this was my query. I run that by F5 or clicking on this button. As you see, I can have all the names. Now I want to search, for example, for Alex. This is the code. I say where name, which is the name of this field is equal to Alex. But as you may know, because this is string, I need two single quotations in the beginning and after that. Let's run that again. Yes, this is limited only to Alex. What about if I want to search for those names which they have A? I need to use like instead of equal sign. If you are not familiar with this kind of query, it's better to read this tutorial, this page, uh, on this link. You can have better explanation here. Okay. By the way, now if I press run, as you see, there is no result here because I need a percentage sign after that and maybe before that. Let's put that. It means whatever after A, it doesn't matter for me. So you can have those names which start with A and maybe there are some alphabets after that. 
What about if A is between? Let me have one percentage here. Yes, this name. It has something before that and something after that. So this is a query that I need for this session. Let's copy that. And let's close this application. We disregard. And here, when I click on this button, I can have my new result set. Now I want to fill the custom list view again. But once I did that here, so I can use the previous code. Let's remove the extra codes and maybe these ones here. And this is the code. Let's cut them. And instead, I can type one name for my new sub like fill custom list view whatever name that you like and i can create this sub here and i can paste the previous code here but as you see i don't have access to result set which i defined that here so i need to pass that as a parameter i can pass that like this and here i need to define that again rs as result set now i can use the same function again here so i type the name of that and i can pass the previous result set and as you know i need to close the result set let's see the result in debug mode Okay, when I click here, some items will be added to the end of the list because I need to clear the custom list view before using this function again. So I can type custom list view dot clear. It clears the previous items. So let's let's save the project by control S and let's see the project. Now, when I click on this, I can see those items, which is limited because of this new query. As you see, when I click here, these items, they have a kind of animation. If you don't like this animation, you can remove that in item layout. Let's go there and let's make it zero animation duration. Let's close it and save the application and let's run that again. As you see, there is no animation. But we typed A here. What about if we want to get this A from this edit text? So I need to have the text of edit text here. To do it, we need to use execute query number two but it needs another parameter let's see that it needs array of a string as you understand that from a string here and these two parentheses and this is an example so i need to type array as a string so array as string and here i can have my data so i need to cut this by control X and I don't need these two single quotations instead I can have a placeholder which is a question mark and then I can have that here let's see the result still the same no difference because still I have this a here what about if I want to have edit text here I can close that by two double quotations and to add sign and between I can type edit text.text. 
Let's save the project and see the result. Let me type something else. Yes, I have another result. But it's not a good practice to do something like this. It's better to use smart string by typing dollar and two double quotations. And between, I can type two percentage sign. And here, I can have something like this. This way, I can type edit text here. This is a better practice to combine one code with one string. I don't need to test the application again because the result is the same. What about if I want to search for something when I type something in that edit text without this click event? To do it, we need text change event from that edit text. Let's go to main layout again. Let's right click on this one. And this is the event that we need, text change. You see the event here. When I change a text in this edit text, it triggers this event. And I can have new text here. So let's copy this code and paste that here. And instead of this code, I can have this variable. So let's copy that. And I can delete this one and I can paste that. This way, I don't need to click button. I just type something and I search for that. Let's run the application. Okay, I type something and I can search for that. Okay, you can have the link of this source code under the description of this clip in my YouTube channel. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe in my channel and please hit that bell to be notified for my new tutorials.